So the wood is sepale mahogany. The stain is black microderm. And there was a clear satin. And the color was black anodized. <clears throat> we have something that Keswick has uh, a, an espresso, which is black. However, it's not true black. It's more, yeah, espresso coffee color, you know, dark, dark, deep coffee color that almost looks black upon at first glance. The black microderm is uh, a stain in which they take an extra uh, process in hand staining each individual area. And it's more expensive, but this is kind of the direction that they wanted to head in. Uh, this is kind of like a breakdown, like an overview of the areas. A, B, C, D, E. So that's where we go with that. And this is I. This was another little challenging area. This, Do you see this little bump out right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, originally, they wanted the, the racks to go continuous, you know, all the way around, the, the, you know, the, they're all symmetrical. There was a little bump out right here that they didn't take into consideration. Monarch, when they took the measurements, didn't really may, maybe pay attention to this area right here. But Ed and I came up with a solution of, you know, the upright bottle shelving here, in which that was kind of like a, a challenging part of everything. Yeah, um, you can't even see what looking in, you can't even see that it's a different depth, but it definitely, you know, with the, with the bottles in it. Yeah, so we made sure that upon installation that everything was true to the face. Yeah, he asked about challenges, you know, that, that back in there behind D, everything back behind D is the elevator. Right. So we, elevator. we were really constricted there. That there was We had no, no space to move there. So do you yeah. see how these are all nose out? Mm -hmm. And they okay. chose to go the other way. Yeah, and from the pictures, you see wherever your pictures are. Show some going horizontally, and I think they do have some going nose out. I, I can't remember. But basically, you know, this is where we started. It was 4,000 bottles. Nose out, it brings the, you know, the highest capacity. They mm -hmm. wanted, um, so, so like Ed always says, and it's it's right. I mean, you, you can store these either horizontally, label forward, nose out, or upright. I think right now, Ed, don't they have all the, you know, most of their champagne stored straight up? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's almost all uh, on, on their uh, upright, uh, in the upright sections. It's almost all champagne bottles.